During the last rainy season, Davidson Gambinga was able to bounce back from the drought-induced poor harvest of 2024. But even in good years, like some small-scale farmers, he may lose part of his harvest. We have nowhere to store our grain for a long time. We lose a good percentage to pest or theft. He tells me that he ends up selling part of the harvest to middlemen at depressed prices just to reduce the risk. According to the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, up to 30% of harvested grain is lost due to inadequate storage facilities. It's something the government intends to reduce through modernized AI-powered silos, the first of which was commissioned by President Emerson Mnangagwa. The 56,000-ton facility has internet-enabled dryers and is able to monitor temperature, humidity, moisture and carbon dioxide levels real-time to identify spoilage or the presence of pests. In total, Zimbabwe plans to build 14 such depots across the country. These sites will enhance the national storage capacity from the current 750,000 metric tons to 1,5 million metric tons. Upon completion of the silos, the nation is predicted to be able to store enough grain in strategic grain reserve for a period of three years at any given time. Zimbabwe's annual grain consumption is about 2.2 million tons, an amount it's failed to consistently produce due to recurring droughts. Facilities to stockpile surplus grain in good years will build up the nation's resilience to the climate shocks. Farai Makutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.